Hello there geographers and welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Now over the past couple of videos we've been talking a lot about diffusion and today we're going to be continuing that conversation. Today we're going into unit 3 topic 6 where we're going to look at contemporary causes of diffusion. Oftentimes today diffusion is happening for a number of different reasons. We can see that diffusion is occurring because of globalization, urbanization, advancements in technology, increased access to information thanks to the internet and social media political and economic systems, and just general interactions between people around the world. Today we can see the impact of time-space convergence. It's a concept we talked about in Unit 1. Remember, over time we've seen technology advance. It's easier to communicate with people all over the place. This has reduced distance decay. It's making it easier for us to be able to talk to people regardless of where they're located. And this allows for more interaction and more diffusion to happen. For example, in 2020 we saw COVID-19 reshape the world. Every single country and person was impacted in one way or another, but we still saw diffusion happen. Businesses weren't having meetings in person anymore, and they weren't flying people around the world, but they still were having meetings over the internet, through Zoom. So we still saw people interacting from different geographic locations. However, now it was from their own home, and it was through a computer screen. Schools had to readjust as well, as we started to see less interactions in person and more people learning through online ways, whether it be through Zoom or Google Meet or YouTube in general. This video is another example of the advancements in technology and how is still we can have diffusion of information. The internet overall has led to easier access to information across the world. And this has reduced barriers to diffusion, making it easier for us to be able to exchange goods and services and ideas. As the internet continues to be more accessible to people around the world, we'll continue to see diffusion happen more frequently and at a faster rate. It's kind of crazy to actually think about the fact that someone could post a YouTube video or something on Facebook, Snapchat, or Twitter, or even TikTok, and within minutes, it's shared across the global community. All of that is leading to a diffusion of information like we've never had before. And it's also leading to new goods and services and even new jobs be opened up. This new connectivity has led to the promotion of modern culture and pop culture and the rise of globalization. Today, it's not even just social media that's connecting all of our cultures and countries. We can see it through political treaties and organizations, economic systems, businesses, supply chains. All these different things are influencing our very own culture and also our global community as well. Oftentimes today we can see diffusion goes through these major urban areas, these global cities that are connected to other urban areas around the world. As migrants go through the international airports and they travel to these large urban areas, they bring with them their ideas, their cultures, their religions, their languages, and it spreads throughout that urban area, eventually going into the smaller settlements. We talked about in one of our previous videos, this hierarchical diffusion. Fashion, for example, starts in major cities. As people adopt it within the urban area, eventually people in the surrounding settlements adopt it, and it spreads throughout a country. Now, with diffusion being easier than ever to happen, we're starting to see more cultural divergence and cultural convergence occur. Cultural divergence is when people start to abandon certain cultural elements of their own culture. They start to take on another cultural traits instead. And this doesn't mean that they're going to forget their entire culture or abandon all of their cultural traits, but it could lead to cultural convergence. This is where we start to see one global culture, one homogenous culture that's often created through globalization. And unfortunately, as we continue to see more and more cultures diffuse and more cultural convergence happen, this means that we're going to start losing more folk cultures and indigenous cultures. We can look at English as an example. We talked in our last video about the historical causes of diffusion with English and how that led English to become a language that's commonly spoken around the world today, creating a lingua franca. But we can also see that there's current causes of the diffusion of English as well. Social media, movies, music, just in general business has used English as the predominant language, which has led to then English being replacing these indigenous languages, as more and more people want to learn English so they can participate in the global community. This is also why we see some cultures and some communities actually resist advancements in technology and resist globalization in general. They're trying to protect their unique cultural aspects that they don't want to lose to modern culture. 
On the other hand, societies that have a unique culture or a unique language that don't take steps to be able to protect it will more likely than not see their culture slowly get replaced as they become more connected to the global community and take on more of that global community's cultural traits. Now, diffusion happens at every type of scale. We can see diffusion happening on the global scale where we could see the impact of its social media, of travel, of international business, and we can see how that then impacts national scale as it changes cultures within a country, even within regions within a country or a specific local community. Diffusion is happening all around us, and not only is it reshaping society and our cultural landscape and bringing new goods and services into our communities, but it's reshaping our very own culture. And as technology continues to grow and advance, it's only a matter of time until we see diffusion happen even more, and we continue to see more and more cultures come together. Alright, that's all the time we have for today. Now the time has come for us to practice, and this is an important part. I know I do it in every single video, and there's a reason for that. Answering the quiz questions on the screen and checking your answers in the comments below make sure you're getting the main concepts. And if you want to help this video diffuse, please consider sharing and subscribing to the channel. It's a great way to say thank you for the videos, and it helps me make more videos in the future. Also, if you are struggling with AP Human Geography and need a little bit more help, well, check out my Ultimate Review Packet. It is a great resource that has a lot of content to be able to help you with all the units of AP Human Geography. All right, thank you so much again for watching this video, geographers. I'm Mr. Sin, and until next time, I'll see you online.